Biology of the Crows Being some of the most common birds all over the world, crows are highly intelligent and are known to use tools. They are also known for their problem-solving abilities. Although most people mainly talk about the tool use, the problem-solving abilities, and the cleverness of crows, it should be known that crows are much more than just that. Crows are social birds, often sharing information and are known to establish close bonds with others. Yet you probably never give a second thought to these birds, let alone study what they do every day. This mystery, in part, is what drives researchers to study the lives of crows, just what makes these creatures so successful at thriving in so many different types of environments. The first step in learning more about a crow's life is to know what crows look like, the type of species in the crow's families, and how they match on the diverse morphologies of the crow's bodies. Also, according to experts, the crow species is known as corvid. This term grows from ancient Greek, suggesting the idea that crows are smart and that they are in the same family as other intelligent birds, such as ravens. Furthermore, I want to learn more about the crow's morphologies, behaviors, and the way that they solve problems. Unlike many other birds, the wing of a crow has a pretty round and smooth edge, which is great for artial flight and maneuvering in a forest environment. It is important to notice that all flying animals have got light and strong wing bones, which are really important and help them to achieve flight. On the other hand, scientists have been able to determine that crows have a high number of brain neurons. Even crows' brains are about the same size as a lot of bird species. Also, research last few decades have exposed that crows are smart. For example, when a crow finds food, it calls to other crows. If the crows that showed up offer it a piece of food, the bird that made the calls will now call more often, letting the other crows know where it is. Because the crow's alarm calls can save other animals, such as deer and humans, from the predator attacks, and that's why people think that crows are a threat to many other species. This suggests that crows may know they exist in an environment full of dangers and challenges that they need to share information in order to live longer. However, it is still a mystery how the intelligence is achieved and the neural mechanisms that the crows employ to solve problems. There are still many questions left to be fixed, and that's what's driving researchers still now. Also, perhaps the answer of those questions still lie in the crows' lives. Anatomy and Physical Characteristics There are also two types of crow in the United States, but only one type of raven. A raven's first primary feather is much shorter than a crow's, and the feathers on the wings of a crow look more uniform. Crows also have smaller, less dense plumage, which gives them a distinctive overall glossy, smooth, and almost silky appearance. This feature is important in differentiating between an American crow and a common raven, because the plumage in a raven is very thick around the neck, and it is noticeably less glossy than that of a crow. For example, a crow's wings are a fascinating topic in themselves. The black feathering may seem extraordinarily plain to someone who is not used to looking at the nuances of bird feathering. However, each one of those feathers is specially crafted. There are actually plenty of little hooks on the edges of the feathers, which is what holds them all together when the bird is flying. This creates a completely smooth surface that allows air to flow without interruption and provides lift for flight. Lastly, crows have a shortened upper arm bone. In the same way that the muscles in the feathers aid in agility, arm structure is very important in a bird's flight ability. The fact that a crow's upper arm bone is shortened when compared to other bird species is another indication of the incredible agility and dexterity of crows mid-flight and while perching. In terms of outward physical features, a crow is more than just well adapted. Everywhere on the body, Crows are fine-tuned to fit an overarching theme, flight. The muscles in and around a crow's feathers are specialized. These muscles allow the bird to raise or spread its feathers as necessary. This is a unique way that crows can regulate their temperature. But on top of that, these muscles can contract so powerfully that it can straighten a curled toe without the crow having to use any other part of its body. Crows have very strong livers that can even break down toxins. This is why crows can live in a wide range of environments. For example, both the house finch and the Canada goose can only be found in the Americas, 
because they are susceptible to the chemicals used in the processes of refrigeration and stay fresh packaging. These two animals can't be found anywhere else in the world. However, crows can adapt so well because their liver function is so effective. The first thing that comes to mind is the physicality of the crow. Crows are considered songbirds, but they don't sing like the other pretty songbirds, such as the American robin or the Eastern meadowlark. Crows have a set of physical features that makes them highly peculiar as well. To begin with, the brain-to-body mass in crows is very high. This usually signifies a high level of intelligence in the animal kingdom. For example, this ratio in mammals is around 1 is to 180. This means that for every pound of body weight, the animal will have 180 pounds of brain tissue. A crow's ratio doesn't even come close. The average for a crow is 1 is to 15, but the largest species of crow, the raven, has a brain-to-body mass of 1 is to 2. This is very close to the human ratio, which comes in at 1 is to 14. Intelligence and Problem-Solving Abilities Professor Nikki Clayton, who was recently elected a Fellow of the Royal Society, is at the forefront of research into the minds of crows and related birds. With research student Karina Logan, Professor Clayton has examined the thinking power of crows using a variation of a well-known test of reasoning ability, the Aesop's Fable Paradigm. In this test, a crow has to work out that adding stones to a container with water in it will raise the water level and bring a floating worm within its reach, something that children under the age of five are not capable of figuring out. He has taken these studies and put them into a theoretical framework using crows as an example to help shed light on the evolution of intelligence and cognitive characteristics. Crows, like most of the higher mammals, have a larger brain than expected for an animal of their body size. Though on different scales, crows and primates have both undergone a correlation between the rear and front parts of the brain, as well as an enlargement and neocortalization of the brain. The crow brain has a deeper, convoluted brain, areas that are correlated with complex information processing and intelligence in humans. Crows are not just intelligent, they have a reasoning power that surpasses a three-year-old child and is much closer to the reasoning of an older child. This is intriguing to The Insane Biology of the Crows, a new book from Rutgers University's Carl Ten Kate and the publication of Wiley. Many researchers believe that intelligence appears in correlation to other cognitive components in other words, intelligence has always been, and remains, impossible to operate or estimate without a clear definition of what exactly it is. Social Behavior and Communication Crows have a complex array of vocalizations, with up to 30 different calls recorded. Different noises are used for different purposes. Crows will use calls to share information with others in their group, such as to indicate the presence of a threat. They will also use harsh calls both to send a message to other crows and to mark their territory. This is often why a group of crows can be observed to noisily chase off a hawk. A parent crow will use begging calls when young and still in the nest in order to stimulate the adults around. The social structure of crows is interesting. They will form living hierarchies with the most dominant individuals, getting the most food and the best nesting sites. It is thought that these social dynamics have led crows to evolve a great deal of intelligence. Being able to outcompete their fellow birds for the most sought-after resources has driven the crows to develop problem-solving skills and a high level of individual intelligence. Crows are highly social birds, with some species forming flocks of thousands of individuals. During the day, these large groups of crows will roost together in a highly wooded area. This could be quite a spectacle with thousands of crows coming together in the late afternoon and creating a cacophony of noise as they settle into the evening. The size of these roosts can be a major headache for local residents. High numbers of crows can make a lot of mess and in some cases, the noise can be loud enough to cause a nuisance. This has led to efforts in some areas to disperse the roosts, either through using noise and light to disturb the birds or by cutting down their preferred roosting sites. Adaptations and Survival Strategies An innovative aspect of crow biology is that they include adaptations over generations and have acquired survival strategies. Here we are going to explain two main aims of adaptations, to help with finding food 
and to avoid being eaten. In crow biology, there are three examples of the way in which crows have adapted to help with food finding. It is said that the bills of crows are adapted to help with eating a varied diet because there are lots of different kinds of crow and different kinds of food in different places. This is an example of variation. That is, crows in some places have evolved slightly different bills from those somewhere else because these different shapes help with getting food. Also, the chuff, which is a kind of crow, has a curved bill that is rather like the shape of a jackdaw's. However, jackdaws are much more common, and it is crows, which are larger birds that can eat more kinds of food, rather than chuffs that are most often in competition with jackdaws. It has been discovered that the crow family, that is, all the kinds of crow, has symbols on its wing feathers that are only visible under ultraviolet light, and in every case, they are configured in a different way for each species. Crow biologists speculated that this might be a feature to allow individual crows to recognize others in the group when flights are in the sky. But the real purpose is still not known for sure, and that is something to be found out by future studies. There is another example of the evolution of intelligence as a survival strategy. Crows are very intelligent birds compared to other birds, and intelligence in crow biology is defined in two main ways. The first is the ability to solve problems and also perform complex tasks by planning and thinking logically. An experiment carried out in 2002 showed that crows and ravens, which are in the same family with crows known as corvids, were able to choose which piece of wire to use to retrieve a piece of food. Also, the crows were capable of selecting the correct wire and also bending it into a hook shape to get some food out from it too. The experiment illustrates that crows are able to plan and carry out a long series of actions to get something they want. On the other hand, intelligence might also be explained by the size of the brain. When looked at the ratio of brain weight to the body weight, crows seem to be more intelligent since the ratio is quite high compared to other birds. Healy and Rowe found out in 2015 that there are over 250 species of birds that are split into two groups, water birds and land birds. As we can see, species and land birds, such as crows and parrots, that tend to have more food around in greater numbers of different kinds of food, have a comparatively larger brain. And scientists predict that the brains have developed because of the need to find and eat lots of different kinds of food. So we might conclude that as the environment changes, crows will need to adapt and over time, develop further characteristics so as to ensure their survival through the process of natural selection. We are living in an ever-changing world, so it is vital for wildlife, such as crows, to be continually adapting to new conditions. And that is all about the biology and the way how wildlife is at work.